Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Crazy Cat Fishing. I'm Stacy. Thanks for stopping by and watching. Hey, today I have an idea. I'm gonna make something. I'm gonna do a DIY. My DIYs, I like to uh, try to take stuff that I already have and turn it into something that I want to use it for, you know, for fishing. So, uh, and also my DIYs, I mean, if you want to follow step by step how I do things, do it exactly like I did, that's fine. But my DIYs is more of a way to make you think of how maybe else you can do the same thing but a different way. So, uh, me and my wife goes, well, my wife goes fishing with me quite a bit, and we always take, take cheers with us. And a lot of times we end up on banks where there's no place, no rod holders, to anything to use for rod holders. Or we're on a dock that don't have no rails. And she kept saying she wants a rod holder. So I got thinking. I looked online for fishing chairs. And there was a few on there. They had one rod holder, maybe a little cooler or a little pouch to hold your little tackle in or whatever and they were over a hundred dollars i can make one way cheaper we already got the cheers walmart ozark ozark chair camping chair from walmart i think we got these for eleven dollars so i got thinking i need some new rod holders on my kayak and i've already got the PVC cut all I have to do is figure out a way to attach them to a chair and this is what my PVC look like I actually heated the end up and stuck a bottle in there to flare it out and then I cut a groove out for your real handle or real thing to fit down in and uh, so I already had that and so I came up this zip tied on PVC Casey rods out there reel it in set it right there and just sit back and your rods are up off the ground all right so after a little bit of experimenting, uh, <clears throat> I came up with there's two ways you can set your chair up and have two rod holders. I tried four on one chair and you just can't get it back in the bag. Yes, you can put these back in the bag with these rod holders. I'll show you how quick and how simple this is. I'm going to show you the other design. I showed you the one with the rod holders in the back. And I will show you that these will fit back in. Leg. You got one leg right here that you can attach to. Actually, this, is, this one's on the outside. The other one will be on the inside. Now, for these, I would recommend making your uh, PVC the rod holder part a little bit longer because of the inside one but we need PVC pipe this is a one and a half I actually needed one and three fourths because of my ugly stick catfish rod it's got a big butt on the bottom of it and it won't fit in one and a half so that's why I'm getting new rod holders for my kayak but you need that now I tried the little zip ties and they just wouldn't hold and I use these on my kayak for to hold my rod holders onto my crate they're hyper tough 11 inch cable ties take two so I take hold it up there Get my zip tie. Just tighten it down. And go to the back. Do the same thing. There you go. Let's 
scissors cut off the access grab two more all right so you turn it around get your pvc pipe like i said this one's going to run inside And I mean, you don't want to tighten it too tight, but you want it tight enough that it ain't going to go nowhere, but you can still move it. You'll have, to you'll have to adjust it. <coughs> oh. You got to get the hands off. Get them out like this. Okay, I found a problem with this. Uh, when you're uh, when you're fishing, if you've got to be sitting in the chair, because if you get up, like say you have to go pee or walk, do something else somewhere else. When you get out of the chair, a rod hit, a fish hits it. Your chair is going in, and your rod and all that. The one with the rods in the back doesn't tilt as easy, but I came up with a solution. Take a bungee cord, clip it to the back of the, clip it to the back of the chair, and then get you some string. I got just some old string I had laying around the house, tied a knot. Put it the Kent stake through that, and I've got the extra rope there, string in case I ain't got nowhere real close to the uh, chair to stake this in, or if I'm on a dock, I've got the extra line that I can go and tie off on one of the planks. But you just take. Drive that down in, in the ground. You got your bungee on there. And when a fish, it's gonna bend over, but he ain't taking that chair in the rock or in the water. At least not long enough until you get over there and can get the pole. So, <clears throat> yeah, so there's only two things, like I said, I don't like about these chairs is one is this style right here uh it's a little harder to get in the bag but it ain't impossible to do and the fact that you have to anchor the chairs first you unhook your anchor now all this fits right with the chair take hold that up over now here is why I said you want to leave it a little bit loose so you can move it okay
See what I mean? This one is a little harder to do, but it is possible. There you go. A chair with rod holders on it. In a bag. Alright. The ones with the ones on the back. These are real simple. And you got two different kinds of rod holders, two chairs, and you still got your hands free. Like I said, I made one with the rod holders on the bottom and the two in the back, and you just could not get the bag back over them. So if you don't mind, what don't care if you want all four. On there, then you do it. You just ain't going to be able to put it back in its carrying bag. But yeah, this has been Crazy Cat Fishing's DIY of a fishing chair. Thank you very much for stopping by and watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you on the next one. Always, you know it, Crazy Cat Fishing.